Here on the left, I have the original video file. And on the right, I have the same video, but it is smaller in size compared to the original. As you can see, there is no difference in the quality. That's because the one on the right uses a highly efficient way of storing data in the video file. I will show you how to compress videos yourself just like this one. First, go to this website and download this free piece of software called Handbrake. After installing it, open it. Here you can import a single video or you can import a folder full of videos. So, I will drag the video I want to compress and drop it in Handbrake. Now, in this summary tab, you can choose the video format. You can choose MP4 or MKV. I would say that you can just use MP4 for almost everything. It doesn't really matter, but I will use MP4 here. If you're uploading the video to your website or over WhatsApp, check this option called Web Optimize to make it smoother for playing back on your website for example. Now go to the Dimensions tab. For cropping, choose None. And for resolution and scaling, choose None. This will tell Handbrake not to rescale your original video to 1080p if you're compressing 4K videos for example. Now go to the Video tab. This is the most important tab for compressing videos in Handbrake. In this drop-down menu, there are a lot of encoders to choose from, so which one should you use? H.264 is an older codec that is widely adopted in many sites and services, but it is not the best at compressing videos, it takes a faster time to encode. And H.265 is a newer codec, it's much better than H.264. It is not as widely adopted as H.264, and it takes a medium to slow time to encode. We also have AV1 codec, which is the newest codec available. It's not supported on websites other than YouTube and Twitch, I think. I really wouldn't consider encoding with it due to the slow time it takes to encode. These two at the bottom are so old and outdated, so we're not going to bother mentioning them. So, if you want the best quality with the smallest file size, you should use H.265 for the best efficiency. But there are multiple options, which one of them should you use? Well, X.265 uses the CPU to compress the video, and the others use the GPU to do so. It's better to use the CPU to compress the videos. That's because it will give you the best quality in the smallest possible file size. I will choose X.265 here. For frame rate, choose same as source, and make it constant frame rate. Now in the quality section, make sure to choose constant quality. If you're compressing lower resolution videos like 720p or lower, make it 18 or 19. And if you're compressing 1080p or 4K videos, make it 22 or 23. For encoder options, you can choose how fast your encoding should be. Fast or faster are faster for encoding, but are not the best for quality in terms of compressing the video. And medium and slow are the better options for compressing videos. However, they take longer time to encode. I would suggest you make it medium or fast and it will give you the best balance between encoding time and quality. But if you don't care about the encoding time, choose slow and it will give you a better quality compared to the other faster options. You can leave everything as is and go to the audio tab. Choose an audio bitrate of 320 kilobits per second to get great audio quality. Now let's set a destination for our encoded video. Name it any name you like and click on save. Now click on start encode, and now it will start compressing the video. It will show you the percentage of the encoding process and how much time is remaining. Now as you can see, the encoded video is much smaller than the original video while also preserving the same quality. If you want to fix slow scrubbing with videos encoded with handbrake, watch this video next. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. Peace.